Hi everybody and welcome to our second part of notes for our thermodynamics unit. And today we're going to talk about something that is called Gibbs free energy and uh, it's known as delta G. And delta G is a nice little equation that we can use um, to determine whether or not a reaction is going to be um, spontaneous, whether it's going to occur without outside intervention. All right. So the equation that we're going to be using today is right here. And that is delta G is equal to delta H, which is remember our enthalpy of reaction minus temperature because, um, and I'm excuse me, minus temperature times delta S. Delta S, our entropy is always temperature dependent. So that is why temperature is going to be involved in this reaction. So the situation is this, okay? Um, if a reaction is exothermic, has a negative delta H, and the entropy increases, a positive delta S, okay? So opposing signs there, all right? Then your delta G is going to end up being a negative value. It just always will be. And the reaction is spontaneous. In other words, it's product favored, meaning it's gonna occur on its own in the forward direction. Okay, on the other side of that, if the reaction is endothermic, a positive delta H, and entropy decreases, okay, it becomes more ordered, which means um, a negative delta S, then your delta G, your Gibbs free energy, will always be positive, okay? Then that means the reaction is not spontaneous, and we say it's reactant favored, because really it's going to stay at reactants unless an outside force works upon it. So this little table here is really nice because it just gives you kind of a quick overview as to what we're dealing with, okay? If you have, as we just said, negative delta H, positive delta S, product favor, you can figure it out. You don't even need to do a calculation. If you have an endothermic and a decrease in entropy, so again, opposing signs, it is reactant favored, it will not be spontaneous, there's no reason for you to do any work. If you find that you're exothermic and a decrease in energy, so both of the signs, the sign of the delta H and the delta S are negative, same sign, you're gonna have to do some work because it depends on that temperature, all right? Endothermic and an increase in entropy, again, same sign, temperature dependent, and you're gonna have to do some work. And by doing some work, all I mean is you're gonna have to go ahead and solve for this if you, when you solve, you get a negative delta G, it means it's a spontaneous reaction. If you get a positive delta G, it is not spontaneous. So let's take a look, all right, at your problem. You're welcome to go in ahead and give it a try and then come back to the video, or you can just watch as I show you mine, okay? So for a certain process at 25 degrees Celsius, your delta H is 56.9 kilojoules per mole. Delta S is, I'm sorry, your delta H was negative 56.9. Your delta S is negative 125. Determine if the reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous by calculating delta G. Great. Before we get started though, a couple things as far as units, because that's gonna become really important. All right, let's first talk, talk about the energy unit. Notice delta H is in kilojoules, delta S is in joules. You're going to have to change one of those. It doesn't matter which one, but you do have to change one. So please keep that in mind. The other um, thing about units is please note that for your delta S or in terms of Kelvin, I gave you the temperature in Celsius. That Celsius must be changed to Kelvin, okay? And we know how to do that. We're just going to add 273 to it. So here's the equation I'm going to be using. And then let's take a look at my numbers. All right, so I took negative 56.9 kilojoules per mole. That is my delta H. Then my temperature is 298. How did I get that? 25 plus 273, so 298. And then my delta S right there is negative 125 joules. I decided to convert that into kilojoules so it would match up with the H. And so that's point negative 0.125 kilojoules. When you do this math, and again, you're just going to do this portion first, okay, or you can certainly use the parentheses in your calculator, you should come out with a delta G that is negative 19.65 kilojoules per mole. It is a negative delta G, therefore this reaction is spontaneous and it will be product favored. 
right? At this time, what we'd like you guys to do is go on ahead and uh, you have two practice sheets for this. Uh, the answer keys will be up for those. And then when you feel ready on Wednesday or later, uh, you can go on ahead and take the test for it. All right. Have a great one.